Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mmm. Mmm. Too good, to be sure. Guys, look at, we're getting some really nice rain out here. I'll tell you, it just feels so amazingly refreshing to actually get some drizzle, to get this rain coming in and, you know, kind of cooling things off. Just feels like, you know, that April shower just coming and washing away all kinds of stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, the articles that I was reading this morning, two of them, and they both are dealing with markets right now, both futures and equities. And the interesting thing is this, futures are up right now <laughs> and equities as well, just tilting a little bit there. But the big, big reason guys is China's stimulus and the plan that they have come out and the information that they've released on it. And here we go again, guys. What do you think we are about to see happen in these markets around the world? Well, I think what's gonna go down is this. We are seeing the printing presses, as we know, just going off the charts everywhere. I mean, you got the European Central Bank doing it. Of course, the Federal Reserve is doing it with that, you know, Fiscal Responsibility Act that gives them another four trillion dollars to spend in the next 18 months and now you got China jumping in there and the whole wide world is absolutely stimulating these economies and you are going to watch in my estimation a big move in equities and in all these other asset classes where they're going to be dumping money in like crazy because money doesn't stay stagnant guys does it it actually moves it moves where there's potential value and that's what we are seeing and especially in in this digital asset space because look the dollar being printed to the tune of another four trillion in just a year and a half is absolutely obscene and of course that's going to cause the dxy to tumble down well when the dxy goes down like that you wait and see how that's going to affect equities and this digital asset space it is going to be massive now of course the thing is this obviously we're going to see major breaks to the upside in inflation, aren't we? And what really kind of gets me is this, for the little guy, the guy that's out there just, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of equities, he's not out there investing in markets, he's not doing that, he's just going to work, trying to make a paycheck so that he can actually have a life with his family and whatever. Well, everything for this guy is absolutely climbing in price, isn't it? Of course, you know, whether it be his shampoos or his this or his that or his whatever, it is just going astronomical on food and gas and rents and all this. And of course, interest rates, you're on a variable mortgage are going like wild as well. Well, guys, the thing is this, when you see that happen, where, what's the opposite side of that from the working guy that doesn't have any investments or anything like that? Well, you know, the guy that's investing, well, he has a countermeasure, doesn't he? Because his, his portfolio is increasing in dollars as well because it's taken more dollars to buy those same equities, commodities, digital assets than what it did before. And in fact, what ends up happening in those markets is the rate of increase in the price of the equities absolutely goes above the rate of inflation in terms of cost. And so you end up in a way kind of like counterbalancing, you know, the the reduction of the purchasing power of your dollars, dollar for dollar, by being exposed to these markets. Do you don't think that these big time rich big wigs have, you know, kind of figured that out? Because that's exactly what they do with their money every time this happens. Now, look at what happened in the big, you know, lockdown situation that everybody was in. Nobody in their right mind would have fathomed that we would have seen one of the biggest bull runs in the stock markets, in this space, and anything in history. And why did why would nobody think that? Well, the whole wide world was shut down. I mean, literally right from your local guy, you know, doing, you know, uh, restaurant deliveries. I mean, it was like crazy. Most of the restaurants were shut down. Most service businesses were shut down. Every All the plants stopped manufacturing. Everybody was kind of like locked up in their homes and all this kind of stuff. And the global economy came to a screeching halt. Yet, what did we see with the stimulus? Because wasn't the stimulus supposed to be, you know, to help out folks that were losing their jobs and all these checks were to go to people that needed it. They, you know, pay rent, pay bills, pay this, pay that. Guys, we saw the greatest bull run, one of the biggest bull runs in the stock markets and 
in this digital asset space in absolute history as a result. Why? Because a lot of that money literally flowed into markets when there was absolutely zero production. Now, you figure that, huh? And if you don't think that we're going to see an upside in this current environment, in these equities, guys, I know a lot of people are talking about a crash, and I do believe a crash is coming, but I think what's gonna happen before that is we are going to see some major, major targets. This thing, they are gonna blow this balloon up as big as it can before they absolutely burst it. And when they do burst it, it is going to be catastrophic for a lot of people. But by then, guys, you can bet your bottom dollar, or like I like Crypto Lulu, and when Lewis Jackson says, you can bet your last XRP. <laughs> I'm telling you what, that a lot of these big players will be out and, and they will have moved into you know more secure spaces by the time that this big fiat bubble bursts. They will be all in on this new digital economy. You watch and see. That's what I suspect is about to happen, guys, because look, a lot of these folks, they don't suffer loss too well. And it is amazing to me how almost rock solid some of these you know big time politicians and their spouses let's not forget that can pick all these various stocks when to get in and just right when to get out isn't that amazing i'm telling you guys we're watching a dog and pony show this is really going down and right now china has pumped up their stimulus and the markets are reacting to it and wait and see if we don't see a whole lot more of this stimulus come down. And they'll find every reason in the book to keep the money press going because the deal is this. We are in a debt-driven economy. The Federal Reserve has one function and one function only to issue more debt. That is exactly how the system works. If they could, if you could prevent them from issuing one more dollar of debt, the whole system would absolutely collapse on its face. They're not going to do it, guys. They are just going to issue more and more and more. It is the never ever plan. That is exactly what it is. And it's really robbing you and I, our kids and our grandkids, of any real, real wealth generating future. The way in which, <coughs> excuse me, wow. The way in which these folks are playing this, playing this game. Because look, guys, they want to keep it, as far as I'm concerned. Really, it looks like the decimation of the middle class is what's really one is being you know orchestrated here. Because the reality is the wealthy are going to get so much more wealthier. And those of us that have had the you know the, the foresight to get into this space, I think we're gonna see life-changing opportunities. And I and I genuinely believe, guys, this is going to be the greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind. But most folks are absolutely missing it. They're being totally scared away from investing, scared away from this space. And look, they're having to use their credit cards. We just reported not too long ago how credit card usage and debt around the Western world has absolutely skyrocketed. These aren't people going out and buying new toys to play with with their credit cards. No, they're living off them. And as a result, do you think that they any any expendable cash? No, it's all going to serve service debt. They don't have it to to look get out there and do an investing and things like that. So hey, if you're in this space. And you think, oh, my bags are so small. I haven't had da da da. I'm telling you, don't despise this the day of small beginnings. There's a time coming when that little bit that you've put in is going to be a big, big deal. I genuinely believe that. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. Until later on today when we have a fantastic video for you, I sure hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I know that this is kind of wild news that comes in and comes out and all this kind of stuff. But look, you got to live moment by moment and not, you know, article by article, because if we did, we'd absolutely be driven crazy. Take time. Just enjoy the moment. And I'll tell you what, you'll see a lot more peace. I think it was Francis of Assisi. I don't know who it was, but he said, if you want to live life free, take your time and go slowly. Boy, that's pretty good advice. Anyway, guys, until later on today, I sure hope you have a good one and take care.